Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, and time for the last video from the Warhammer 40,000 Blackstone, or Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress base set, Obsidious Malix, Mr. Big Bad himself, Rosy Skin 09068. This is where I want to start. Uh, no, actually. I want to start with Pure Black 09037 because he is so thoroughly corrupt. Part of his armor is starting to turn to fleshy tendrils, and I want to make that match his skin tone at least to a certain extent. But Obsidious Malix is a Chaos Lord under the command of Abaddon the Despoiler, leader of a group called the Servants of the Abyss. He was part of the attack on Cadia when an explosion, I can't remember if it said it was the destruction of Cadia itself or something else, blew him clear out into the little middle of nowhere, his last reputable cousin, where he came, where he uh, encountered the Blackstone Fortress, which more or less ate his ship. And he and his crew were more or less co-opted into becoming another layer of defense for the alien fortress. As much as he reviles being kept a prisoner there, he sees opportunity. If he can figure out how to control the Blackstone Fortress, he could become greater than Abaddon himself. And that is his goal to find a way to put the Blackstone Fortress under his control before Abaddon arrives or someone else beats him to it. And aside from his nifty little certainty of this thing, which causes certain models associated with him to not take up slots in his attachment, he is basically a standard issue chaos lord with a plasma pistol and a thunder hammer. But one drawback of the Servants of the Abyss rule is he has to be set up first, and all models with that ability have to be set up within six inches of him. I don't think that means completely within six inches, but having at least part of the, their base is within six inches of them. Otherwise, they count as destroyed. All right. It's a nice solid black there. Hmm. Need to thin that out a little bit around here. Okay, let that dry and then start adding some other colors on. Okay, next up, oil leather 09110. All this gunk around me. It's gonna have a more complicated uh, color scheme, so I've got many extra sets of paints out. But then again, a more complex color scheme is perfectly fitting to a Chaos Lord, so... <clears throat> Do this on his top knot. And then his thunder hammer has some grip binding here. Rosie skin zero nine uh, was it zero nine zero six eight? <clears throat> Two 
too much water. Let's get out. And try again. That's better. I said before, the mutating powers of chaos eventually cause many Heretech Astartes to physically fuse with their war gear. And in the novel Lords of Silence, which focuses on a warband of the Death Guard, actually, one of the members comments he can no longer take his helmet off because of his own mutations. mass. And I hear my neighbors arguing again over crying out loud. This thunder hammer is. This is your reward for defeating him <clears throat> on the stronghold raid. In a game of Blackstone Fortress, the goal is to get to the hidden vault deep within the fortress. But to get there, you have to conquer four strongholds in a randomly determined order. But for doing so, you get rewarded. And one of the rewards is the Thunder Hammer Obsidious Malix uses. Some might worry about Chaos Corruption, but in uh, the book Calgar's Fury, which, in which the Ultramarines led by Marius Calgar, pre Primaris, you know, pre Gilliman even, take on a Space Hulk. Overrun with Heretech Astartes, scavenging ammunition from them, saying, "Let their chaplain do a quick prayer. They'll be consider. They'll be holy enough." The ammo, I mean, when it's used against the traitors. Try all these fleshy bits. Without missing any. But there are just so many. Missing one would be incredibly easy to do. In fact, there's as many little details on him as there are on the Death Guard models I did a while back. <clears throat> See? Every time I look at this, I find another little nugget of warped flesh to paint. And I haven't even gotten to the big cluster on the backpack yet. Which at this point looks like it has mostly been subsumed by tainted meat, for lack of a better word. I think this is actually an eyeball. Hmm. 
<laughs> Some stupid just came to mind. I don't think I feel like repeating it this time. Oh, I don't know what that loud crunch was, but I think I better go uh, take a look. Let's finish this up real quick and see what's going on while it dries. I think that's got all the warped mutated flesh, so I'll let that try and see what that sound was. Okay. <clears throat> Deep Red 09002. I don't have a clue where that crashing is coming from. It sounds like it's one of the neighbors. It's a bit thick. So he's got this top knot threaded through this uh, skull. And I'm going to be using this for the cloak too. Does have a pelt wrapped around? It looks like it's looks like it's the same kind of creature that Janus Drake, the rogue trader with this set, has wrapped around his shoulders. So a lot of these guys have pelts on them. Well, must have been the flesh tone in that knee gap there. Just dev that in real quick. to nick the knee. It's okay, I can touch that up. Touch up is part of the process, so I need to get the back of the knee here. Doing the flesh color for the body glove too. I figure that's probably starting to mutate. I see a little more of the leather I need to do. No, there's just going to be a lot of touch-ups, and that's all there is to it. That's okay. Touch-ups are part of the process. Happen all the time. Black and Steel 09205. Might be more fleshy bits on this pistol than I initially thought. Well, like I said, touch ups are part of the process here, so.
and uh, go ahead and use this for the claws of the pelt as well. Otherwise, I have to miss some more flesh. This gap. And tarnished steel 09206. There's a servo skull by his feet. Probably a recent victim of his rage. colors. So back in a minute. Okay, up next. 09143 yellowed bone. This is a little plugged up. Maybe be enough to do the trick. So. This is a little tricky right in here to get the back of the pelt. Yeah, I think I lucked out with the amount of paint. And Ancient Bronze 09049. And I will have to do some touch-ups, that's just a given. But this will be the last base coat I need to do. And I want to do this belt buckle. Or maybe it's part of a girdle, I don't know. I definitely have too much water and not enough paint, so I'll try that again.
trying to figure out where the trim ends there with all the fleshy bits. so much of this fleshy stuff on the left hand I hardly know where the trim's gonna end up being. I'd say that's base coat, so outside of a little touch-up work, as soon as things are dried up, I can start shading. Alright, Stained Ivory 09142. water turn it into a wash this could get a little funny this skull actually has holes the eye sockets and then the crippled servo skull I imagine Malix used this as batting practice now, I'm not doing the pelt. I have reasons for that. I will do the claws with gunmetal blue 09126. Uh, you know what? No, not gunmetal blue. I use sparkling blue 09104. I'm going to make an attempt to replicate what's on the artwork here with this one. Rather, the uh, photographs in the book. All right. Now, let's do some metal. So, no, not yet. Scorched. Well, not that black. And where's my paint there? Zero nine one two five scorched metal. plugged up so paper clip
have to be cautious how much of this is up on my brush at one point in time. Looks like I wound up nicking the backpack there and missed it. I'll patch that up off camera. And a little skin 09148. Well, actually, I'm going to have to wait on that a minute, so what's going to do for now? Okay, 09109 Ruddy Leather. And black and steel zero nine two zero five. Skin zero nine one four eight. So not only is this going on the pellet, it's going on the fleshy bits too. Oh boy, and that happened. Including Malik's actual flesh. Corrupted flesh spring up all over him to look as unnatural as possible.
hope this is not some rather mill. Newly recruited. Legionnaire we're talking about. This is a full blown card carrying Lord of Chaos. His mutations are as much a sign of his rank as his weaponry. Well, as his weaponry is. pretty good going to need to let that dry for a bit before I move on but, uh, that's going to leave the black the steel and the red and two of those are going to have the same shade so back in a bit okay not completely dry but dry enough to work with red brick 09001 Just a bit of the brown, I can take care of it. that pouch inside, I can take care of it. It's okay. Just notice a piece of the pelt I somehow managed to miss this whole time, so okay. That'll do it'll work. Just a little knot in my thumb, it's alright. That bit of red in the pelt that that'll work. I think I can work with that. Okay. I was just gonna leave the black and the steel rub the rest of it. So back as soon as it's dried up. Okay, adamantium black, zero nine one two four. I have, a, excuse me, I have a bit of stubborn red that hasn't dried yet, but it's nowhere near what I need to paint. <clears throat> excuse me, what I need to paint, so it should be alright. Backpack will be a little tricky because I want the metal, not the flesh. If you hear that sound, uh, it's geese. They love my neighborhood. They're all over the place down here.
Alright, that went out of control. Not quite enough water on that bit. I am shading his weaponry with this as well. I've got lighting effects to do on his pistol, so that's going to be done separately. Hammer is going to be last, since that's the most in the way. Like some of that undead green hasn't quite dried yet, but I can work with it. I can work with that. Spike. Let's get that. To see if anyone makes an MC Hammer reference. Alright. Alright, that takes care of shading. And I need to do some the eyes and some lighting effects next, but this has to dry completely first, so back as soon as I can. Okay. 
little generator there too. Let that dry, and then I can do the lighting effects and the pupils. Then it's highlights. Okay, pure black zero nine zero three seven. Just a little bit for the eyes. Gray zero nine zero three eight. This is going to go on his servo skull victim. Should the machine spirit barely hanging on, dying. And coppery orange zero nine one zero two. This would be the lighting effect for the weaponry. Both the plasma pistol. Trying to make it the lighting effect of the plasma pistol, but it's not cooperating very well. Alright. And the thunder hammer. Okay. Well, almost dropped him again. Once that's completely dry, I can highlight and finish up. All right, time to finish the painting aspect of this. True Silver zero nine two zero seven. I'm just doing the forlorn looking servo skull. Sitting abandoned and scared. A crumpled heap on the ground next to the terror that is Obsidious Malix. Actually, do this on the closet pal too. Now, burnt orange zero nine one one one. Not much of this. Blue 09104. That didn't turn out too badly. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one more time.
Zero nine zero five zero. Oh, he's definitely looking corrupted and tainted. Creamy Ivory zero nine one four four. No, not yet. Hold on. Hold off on that for a second, and take Blood Red zero nine zero zero three. Actually. frames. Let's get the cape first. Now, take Creamy Ivory 09144. Getting all skull ornaments. And highlighting the pelt. But then again, Alex has been out of the communication for a while, and Chaos isn't exactly known for keeping, every, for keeping everything neat and tidy, so... infused flesh over everything. Sleep power.
looks all right. Not that brush. Should be okay. And tarnished steel zero nine two zero six. Most of the spillover it diluted enough that it looks like it's lit up. And okay, that's it. Wait, I almost forgot. Taking that tarnished steel again, he's got these spikes in need of highlight. There we go. Pure black zero nine zero three seven. And let's see, is the pure white any good? No. So flat head. Mm, do it this way. So taking that pure black, I'm gonna dot the. I hear big black pupil. Then using a flat head I'll line the base. Well this brush is hardly flat anymore. I'm gonna to have to replace it. had a chance to dry can uh, do one last little detail and base them okay basing it I'm using a solution of white glue and water I have some left over from the chaos space Marines I finished that are that's still in reasonably good shape so I can just use a bit more of that And dip it in the basic material. I'm using a mix of fine, coarse, and medium talus or rock debris. Push away from the edge of the base. Taking a spare dry brush. Just pushing away from areas I don't want it. You know, it's just dawned on me that this servo skull could have belonged to Janus Drake because. Well, he doesn't have one on his model in the artwork, he's shown with one floating around and acting as a spotlight. All right, now it's going to need to set for a bit. And once it has, I can seal it and finish up. Okay, last step. So I'm going to take a little pure white. Just do a quick little up in the center of that kind of a reverse eye there now taking my scenic cement which is really stuck 
in my glass eyedropper. Just poop around. Now it's had time to set this won't push it around the material around. Okay. And that is Obsidious Malix and all his Wrath for Glory. Now that I've got all the miniatures in the set painted up, I can finally start playing Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress. This is going to be my last Warhammer 40,000 video for a bit. Up next, War Machine. Until next time, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.